टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सुपर पेव बीट साइड लेट मी टेल यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हेयर आई विल गो ऑन एक्सप्लेनिंग इन ऑल माई वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू द मिक्स डाइन डेवेलपमेंट प्रोसीजर्स बट आई विल नॉट गो थ्रू दिस प्रैक्टिकल बिकॉज देर आर सम लिमिटेशन फॉर मी दैट आई कैन नॉट टेक यू टू दिबॉर्टी बट आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन ईजी वे दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दिस मिक्स डाइन एंड वट एवर द इक्वेशन आर यूज एंड आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दैम दैट your concept about the mix design would be clear then whenever you know it, it is the latest technology so so keep this in mind i will try my best to explain each and everything in very positive way first of all let me tell you just concentrate upon this word super pave actually it is a abbreviation known as superior performing asphalt pavement and this super pave is the name of revolution so you can say that it is the name of revolution or it is very big revolution in highway engineering this super pave mix design is introduced by shrp again it is a abbreviation strategic highway research program and this new design was introduced in early 1990 in early 1990s like this one i will not go in detail because although in 1993 it was officially reported to application that's why we can say in early 1990s so so this super pave as i have written over here it is the name of revolution why we say the word yeah revolution because it has solved all the problems related to the hard mix asphalt pavement what are those problems related to the traffic load road traffic load first thing second thing your climate third one road structure you know this traffic road is related to the traffic level that up to which level our road is going to serve where this road is being made what is the climate over there what is the highest temperature and what is the lowest possible temperature and third one road structure how much will be your layer thickness and after giving this brief introduction after that let me tell you one thing that this super pave mix design is actually going to use an other type of the compaction which is not being used in an other one this new type of the compaction which we are going to explain over here this is known as the gyrating compaction gyrating compaction Now the question right where we will use this gyratory compactor its answer is in order to densify the material in the lab it will be used in order to compact the material in the laboratory we will use this method second as 
our mixed sign is consisting of aggregate as our mixed sign is consisting of binder content let me tell you aggregate and other one is a binder this aggregate and this binder according to this method of a mixed sign their properties are already predefined if those properties are being satisfied then we can say that this aggregate can be considered as suitable for the development of the superbase similarly this binder content this binder content is also having certain parameters having certain specification properties which need to be fulfilled if those properties are fulfilled then we can say that this material is able to be used in the superbase next third part of this one is a compactive effect this compactive effort we cannot define decide by ourselves it is predefined depending upon the level of the turf so let me explain it it is predefined depending upon the level of the traffic so that is why when all these parameters and their boundary conditions have been defined so that is why it is considered as very big revolution in the field of engineering now after this let me tell you why we are going to this mixed sign its answer is very simple that this mixed sign is going to discuss some problems you know when the roads were being made roads are not going to sustain for longer period of time they are possessing certain type of the deformation or the permanent distresses occurring on the road one of them was rutting second problem fatigue cracking and third problem low temperature cracking now the question arises where these will occur due to the heavy load and due to the high temperature the mix sign is going to fail then this type of the permanent deformation is produced known as rutting second type of the failure when the road is in its use during its service life at ordinary temperature when the repetition cycle of the load is being exerted on the road it is going to show crack on the surface third one due to the fall of the temperature due to the fall of the temperature and due to the contraction road is no more able to sustain its form then this type of the cracking is going to occur known as a road temperature cracking now the question arises does super pave mitigate this effect its answer is why we use super pave let me tell you again i have told you three major distresses occurring on the road rutting fatigue cracking and low temperature cracking then question rise why we use super pave its answer is this new mix design resist against rutting it means this problem which was occurring in conventional method of mix design now this material of this mix design method has resisted second one resist against fatigue cracking it means my second problem is also being solved my third point low temperature cracking again it is said this super pave mix design resist against 
लो टेम्परेचर पे रखें फोर्थ वन आफ्टर गिविंग द आंसर ऑफ दीज थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स द फोर्थ वन दिस मिक्स डिजाइन इज गुड फॉर आल ट्रैफिक लोड एंड क्लाइमेट it is going to define a very nice type of a correlation between them so keep this thing in mind when these distresses occurring on the road are solved by the super pill so it means now the road is going to prolong its life road is not easily being gone through this rutting process life of the road is increased utility of the road is increase and now there is a traveling on the road is quite safer so it was just brief introduction which i had to give you about this super pave mix sign which i have tried to give you very precise picture after giving this precise picture in my next video i will try to explain that what are the stages for this mix sign and further this preliminary introduction about this mix sign Thank you very much for seeing this video. If you have any comments, please let me know, and I will try to explain it. Thank you for seeing this.